All right, here's an alternate way to do this color splash, and I believe it might be a little easier for you guys, okay? So in your layers, all the way to the right, right over here on this side, you're going to duplicate this image, okay? Duplicate it, and the way to duplicate it, you see these three dots? Click on there, and you're gonna go right here, where it says duplicate layer. I ignore this, just go to duplicate layer, okay? Okay, now I made a copy, okay? I made a copy. Now this is what you're going to do. Once you do make a copy, you're going to go to adjustment and we're going to go to temperature, I mean, I'm sorry, hue and saturation. I believe, yeah, this one's it. So let's move this over. You can move this, any screen that pops up, you can move over. And now click this middle one, saturation, move it all the way to the left. So it turns black and white like that. Okay, that's what we want. Then click apply. Now, instead of erasing all of this, like I did earlier in the other video, we're just gonna erase the hat now. See, we have this layer that's now black and white on top of this layer. I'm actually going to, um, I believe I'm so new with this Pixlr app. Yeah, we're gonna click those three dots. I'm gonna call it black and white. Okay, there, click that. Now the top one's black and white, this one's color. Okay, so we have the black and white on top of the color one. There's the black and white. Okay, I when you uncheck that, that means you're turning it off, but we're gonna keep it on. And now check this out. We're gonna actually gonna use our eraser, which is over here on this side, the eraser tool. And all we're gonna do is erase. Where are we gonna erase? We're gonna erase around the hat. Let's take this turn off the so I'll fast forward this, okay? So you can see how I do it. Now we're gonna make the brush size smaller so I can get in there and get those small areas, okay? And I'm going to zoom in. If you mess up, like I just did here, go back to your history, okay? Your history right here, and you can just Go back to the step that you messed up on right over here see the history you can go in there and just go back in your history and then go back okay all right see how much easier that was so much easier now second part you want to add the ribbon to it the breast cancer ribbon so you're going to go to file open image and there's the ribbon right there see that i'm going to open it now it's going to open in a separate window so what i'm going to do is i'm going to unlock it okay i unlocked it i'm going to go to image i'm sorry where is it at? is it command a sorry select all control a or command a depending on which one you're using what computer so I'm gonna do control a okay and then edit copy then go here back to my image then paste it I want to it wants to see the text yeah go ahead allow there it is okay I'm gonna use my arrow key now all right I'm gonna make it smaller obviously it's too big so I'm gonna size it down just like that I'm holding the shift key and moving it down put it either in the bottom put it in the bottom right of your image there we go and now you're gonna save this file save and you're gonna save it as JPG okay just call it my color splash two. Then click download. Then oh, don't forget your initials. Okay, download. And then this ad comes up, so you have to wait for the ad to to appear, and then close it. 
All right, see that? That's what we're gonna work on, our black and white and splash, color splash. We wanted a black and white color splash. Okay, 